during the period of, of stacking up the sand, I'm not really thinking very much about what I'm going to make. I'm just throwing it at random, waiting to see what shapes suggest themselves from the various pits and valleys and piles that are created. of the sand and the water and the weather predict the character of the peaks. I just want to make sure that I make the sculpture in a place where the sand is wet. I, I always do them when the tide is going out so that I have a sufficient amount of time to make a, a reasonably interesting and detailed piece. It's, it's almost like a loose association in psychology. I'm following an instinct which is not easily defined. I try uh, to make the shape as organic as I can. Making sand sculpture is, in a sense, like playing a musical instrument. There is a whole repertoire of moves that you can learn. I am very much aware of the ecosystem, and I don't enjoy using the chemistry of everyday art, uh, turpentine and benzene. And the other dangerous tools that I use when I paint or when I do design. So when I do this form of art, I'm, I'm fitting into the system in a very comfortable way. There's uh, something I discovered about uh, the symbiotic movement of one hand and the other, that if I work them both at the same time, they mimic themselves uh, as a mirror does. The images that I create are almost always human, animal, living. But I love to combine them with inorganic things like architecture, city streets, coliseums, 